Let's check how the war in Brazil is going. Because I think Brazil is in trouble. Yeah, England is beating them. We have to take England over. Okay, fine. Science would tell us that we are nothing more than vibrating atoms. Everything in life is vibration, as Einstein put it. I put it to you that he was a duplicitous charlatan. Superior Judith Hall. So run public campaigns in areas with high population like China and India. Ah, okay. High energy lasers. Mission to the inner planets. Uh, advanced atomic manipulation is something that we need for that uh, thingy. Oh my god, what do we want to... Um, what do we want to open? Why do I always forget that? We want cover tops. Okay, cover tops. It's that research that we're already researching, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, what did I click? I guess I clicked out of the window. Quantum encryption, advanced atomic manipulation. Yeah, advanced atomic manipulation we are already researching. You know what that does? That actually increases um, influence. Genetics. We're gonna go mission to the inner planets, I guess. Or space tourism. energy lasers we need something for the ships and we need something for the defensive um, uh, modules I think that's uh, that's it we have to go for lasers and we're gonna get them um, that sooner or later okay awesome we've moved the needle This is something we don't need. Or do we? One, two, three, one, three, two, Aethra. special will will pass we've hit 
hit them where it hurts. This is gonna be an issue. I mean, this is already an issue. Solar steamers. Long range cargo transports use constant thrust to reduce delivery times to have of have modules launched outside of this is 1000. We're gonna get that. Probe arrives. This is too uh, not enough. So we're just Target secured. skip it. Recon complete. We're gonna run into trouble with the the uh, servants. They're gonna grow strong as fur. Yeah. Okay. Is this Italy? It is. 5% on spoils are actually not that good. Serapis Minerals. Oh wow. Economy spoils space mining output bonus. 4%. Well, we're not gonna mess around with this right now. Uh, we'll probably go and try and build a ship. Let's get the assignment Ready to done go. first. I will tell our story. Acknowledged. Acknowledged, you're not going to kill them. Taking it to them. Standing by. Targeting the opposition. Where to? I don't know what we could uh, use this guy for. Sabotage facilities. Hang Yang Li. Public campaign. Now this would be useful. Investigate counselor. That's something that we could send him on. But uh, we need espionage for that. Uh, sorry, investigation. Espionage. He's good at espionage. Perch. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, detain, steal, sabotage. We already have all of these. We could still go and um, investigate alien activity and counselor.
for one point. Oh, we could get rid of ooh, plus six on knowledge. Plus five on knowledge. Energy research is important. Monthly income. Let's unequip this. We're gonna grab that. And he can go and try and investigate a couple more. Um, yeah, go and do that. Tracking target. We're gonna have to try and start stealing stuff from them. Now, What's can the we arm? design a new ship? Let's try and see if we can design a new ship. Ship Escort Corvette Frigate Monitor ADD. I think escorts are kind of the best, but let me check on something real quick. You guys have helped me out there on the Discord channel, so um. Spoops design, yeah, it is a monitor. Spoops design, rockets, magazines. Let's try if we can do that. News weapons. Hull weapons, missiles, torpedo bay. Cobra Missile Bay, Anaconda Missile Bay, and Krait Missile Bay. 31, 36. Damage, 56. Ooh. Cooldown, 7 seconds. Explosive, 80% damage to armor, 80% damage to armor, so they are all explosive. Acceleration, four and a half, these are very fast, it seems. Targeting range, one kilometer, uh, I mean, a thousand kilometers. This module can explode. So should we just put on torpedoes? Okay, let's see. An adaptation of a naval anti-ship solid fuel cruise missile for use in space. So this is kind of crap. Uh, a small anti-ship missile powered by hypergolic rocket fuel and carrying an explosive warhead. This is probably more or less a bit of a crap as well. Now, a larger anti-ship missile that uses hypergolic rocket fuel to propel an explosive warhead. Hypergolic fueled torpedo with an explosive warhead. Let's put up a torpedo. Should we put one Cobra missile bay and one torpedo bay? Now we're gonna go with the torps. Okay, utility modules, magazines, I guess. Radiators. Oh my god, this one uses up uh, 18. This one makes the ship way heavier. But I think we can go with that one. Yeah, metal, exactly. How can we rename this? Can we rename this? Why cannot we rename this? Maybe we have to finish it first. Um, battery... Hmm. 
20 tons, 30 tons. We're gonna go... Yeah, this one is um, lighter and has more capacity. Power plant. You can just type in the name. Oh, this is dumb. <laughs> How are we gonna call this one? Rocket man. Alright, you're gonna call it Rocket Man. Or you know what, we're gonna call it Torpedo Man. Because I'm thinking about mixing it um, with torps and um, other thingies. Fuel cell 1. <laughs> okay, so efficiency 75. 77.5. 34 tons per gigawatt. 40 tons per gigawatt. Maximum output 26. Does it even matter what we put up? I mean, we could probably put this one up. Tons per gigawatt. Oof. So I think that this one would be sufficient. Ooh, are these all the dryers that we have? Just take max stick. Oh, so we are talking about the same reactor, just higher technology. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Now, when it comes to drives, I would like to have this fleet able to go to the inner planet. So, we're gonna be building them, spamming them at uh, on Earth and sending them around. So... Solid rocket is kind of me, I guess. Meteor liquid, mass thrust. We're probably just looking for exhaust velocity here, or is it thrust? Uh, thrust. Exhaust for range, A rating of 2.2, oh, 3, 3.3, so this one's best for velocity. Uh, I mean for range, if I get this right. Highly enriched uranium to reduce mass and increase thrust and efficiency. Required power plant, solid core fission. Required power, 941.8 megawatts. Do we have that power? Cruise Delta V, why is there nothing? It won't let you not have the power. Okay, fine. Uh, 
Ah, we're increasing the rating. So this will mean this means it's gonna go faster. But um, this will not get it far. We need to get up to how much? Like 30. To be able to get to the moon. But that's gonna cost us all the water that we have. That's not what we can afford. How far will this get us? If it was at least get us to Mars and back, that would be great. More propellant decreases delta V. More mass on the ship decreases it. Ships with less than 8 may have trouble reaching the moon from Earth. Ships with less than 30 will not be able to reliably perform interplanetary transfers from Earth. Ships with roughly 60 will be able to perform more extreme transfers such as transferring from Mercury to Saturn. So we need 30 to be able probably. If we go with 40 And then we have to put up some armor. Steel armor, as far as I know, is extremely heavy. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna use composite armor anyway. Let's say we use 10, or maybe 5. Cost per ton, okay, then uh, thickness per point. So five times 13, it's around a meter thick. But yeah, again, back to the drives. So even with this drive, we're not gonna be able to get to Mars. Will this get us to Mars? Cannot we say? Forty weeks. Why cannot we say? Oh, it must have all armor. Oh, even if it's zero. Ah, okay. Well, there are now only two designs possible. So 40 weeks is how much? That's like almost a year. So we're not going to be able to catch anything with that, right?
but we can move them between holy crap between Mars and Earth can we upgrade the existing ships Yeah, exactly. Why do you want them to travel? Just build them where you need them. I think that's going to be a better idea. It's going to cost way less resources. And we're going to have more ships. If we have just single engine. And 20 propellant tanks. Will this be enough to move between the orbits on Earth? We should be able to get to the moon and back. So if we, we're gonna build them in higher Earth orbit, but we're gonna put them into lower Earth orbit. But then we're gonna have to put them back up into higher Earth orbit to re, um, to re, re replenish, yeah, restock, resupply, whatever. And uh, I remember when I designed the ships uh, when I was playing for the first time, we managed to get them down to the lower orbit, but then we couldn't get them up to the higher orbit anymore. Now this should be able to get to the moon and back so we can defend the moon bases we're gonna go with this one even though it's 300 tons uh, i mean 300 water damn it i would rather go with 200 water so we can wake way more let's go and make compromise 25 we're gonna save this design Higher exhaust velocity. These are all crap. It's actually the only drive that's uh, worth it. Eight point three. Yeah, it's uh, the only exhaust that's worth it. We'll say yes. Now we're gonna go. Should we build a few ships? Let's build two. Or maybe... F well... Hmm. We're gonna build two. I think we can take everything down that's gonna come at us. Or that is already in the Earth's orbit. <laughs> there is an enemy ship in the orbit. So if we go and shoot it down... Why does it have a star? How can you see the ship? There's a way to see the ship. Ah, decaying star. 